Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a quick eye look with this product that I did find at Ross. And it's the Clinique um, All About Shadow Quad and it, had, it comes with four colors. And um, it was $12.99 at Ross. But um, at the store, like at Ulta and all the other stores, it sells for about $33.50. So I got a really good deal on this. And, and I've actually never have tried um, these shadows before. And um, this is how the the makeup, it comes like with the little mirror. It's pretty cool, but it's actually dirty. So let me just wipe it down. It looks dirty, but it looks like this. And it's like, it comes with like a mirror. It's pretty cool. And then this is the back, it's see-through. And this one is actually the number 10, going steady. And it's like all the light purple shades. This is how the inside looks. It comes with also a mirror and then all the four shades and then a little like um, applicator. So these are the colors. So the first one is a grayish tone and it is like a shimmer and this is how it looks very shimmery and then the next one is like a very light purple and then i'm gonna demonstrate very light you can't really see it and then this one's like a darker purple this one's a darker purple and that one's coming on um it's supposed to be like a matte shadow so this is the last shade and this one's a lighter shade um, it's like a lightish pink color, but this is how the um, swatches look. So the colors, this is how they look on the arms. So I am going to be creating a look just so you guys can see how it looks on the lids because like it's not coming through on the arm that much, but I want you guys to see how it would look on the eyes just to see if it's an actual like good purchase because I've seen so many um, good reviews about this product. I think it rated like 4.3 and it had like 1500 reviews, good reviews. Um, not, not all of them were good, but I, I mean 4.3 is pretty high rating. And um, so far the colors don't come through very pigmented. But um, I am going to be um, using, I am going to be using, because um, I actually did already um, give it a whirl with this, but this one does, wasn't really um, helping. So I am going to be using an actual brush to put the, to put the colors on the lips. Okay, so I did already prep the eye with some concealer earlier and I did put some um, powder on there just to set the concealer. But I am going to go in with this Morphe brush. It's a blending brush and this one's the M441. I use this one a lot because it just makes um, the color go nicely on. But I am going to start off with the matte shadow which is this purple, the darker purple. And then I'm just going to grab it and then put it all over um, the uh, upper area, right here in this area. So like right here, and then I'm just gonna go back and forth. Okay, so far the color is going on there smoothly. And I feel like it's coming through nicely. It's very, when you do apply it on the lit, um, eyes, it's very light. It doesn't look as dark and purple as it's showing on the uh, little palette. But so far it looks very subtle. And this is already my fourth dip and it still looks kind of the same it's not as like purple as i wanted to look i'm 
Okay, I feel like um, I used other the same tone of purple uh, in other palettes, and I feel like it's come through much better than what this one is doing. I don't feel like it's transferring that well. And I feel like the color is just going on top, like in the outer parts of where I'm actually applying. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to make it um, look as good as I can, but I feel like the color is just all over the place. I don't feel like it's coming through like I want it to but um, I am gonna go ahead and just use my finger maybe it'll help but I am gonna be putting this gray tone on the outside of my eye and then I'm just gonna press it down and then just kind of like smooth it over And then I'm going to be grabbing this like flat brush and then I'm going to press that color down. And then Okay, so I thought this brush was going to help, but I feel like it just made it kind of worse. Um the colors are looking really like muddy for some reason um but i am still gonna keep going so um ugh, sucks. okay so i'm gonna be grabbing this like lighter purple shimmer and then i'm gonna put it right here in the beginning of the eyelid and then just smooth it over Okay, and then that one's really nice. It looks good on the lid. And then for the last one, it's the lighter color. And I'm going to use my pinky to put it in the inner corner. And then some on the brow bone. Okay. Okay guys, so I don't feel like it's something I will buy again. I feel like the colors I kind of feel like they're all over the place. Uh, especially that darker purple that I start, started off with. Um, it wasn't a good um, shade. I mean a good like color. I feel like it just went all over the place. And then with the brush it just kept getting like dark on the outside and then it would just make like a light like it made like a like a darker shade in the like a darker shade but it didn't smooth it nicely like how I wanted it to smooth and then after I put that gray tone color it just made it look muddy um, and it's not supposed to do that um, when you apply like a darker shade on the outer part of the eye it should make it look nice and just give it some depth but not look like this like kind of muddy but yeah overall i feel like it wasn't a good palette you guys um overall like i don't feel like it's a good um palette um it they don't look nice to me and i did spend 12.99 but it actually retails for 33.50 um in store at ulta and all the um, like macy's and those stores so yeah um i don't think it's a good buy it's, it's not good formula. Um, you can't use um, um, your own brushes because it's just not a nice finish. But I'm gonna just go ahead and finish the look with some quick eyeliner and some mascara quickly just so you guys can see the finished look. Okay guys, so um, I already did 
um, put some liquid eyeliner and then some mascara and then for the lips I'm gonna just go over the lip gloss I already had so this is the Disney Bambi um, Colourpop collab and this one just has like light like purple uh, glitter like glittery like a shimmer and I feel like it looks good with the like purple tones but um, yeah overall that palette I don't feel like it, it was a good buy I don't feel like it, it's a good formula I feel like it's all over the place um, I don't know if it worked out for years for you guys but um, I don't feel like it's a good palette um, and especially for the price like it's $33.50 maybe it's because of the brand Clinique they're known for like their skincare and then like all their like makeup different makeup but I feel like for this um, little palette it's not a good one for me um, yeah I'm just give it a thumbs down definitely and um, yeah I just won't be buying the any of those sort of uh, shadows um, again but yeah that's pretty much it you guys um, this is how the look turned out um, yeah and then um, if you guys did enjoy and you found this video helpful go ahead and do like the video down below and do subscribe if you want to see more videos like this I like to create um, like different reviews and tutorials for makeup like I'll see you guys on the next video bye